August the second and definitely took this week off because of what happened to my cousin definitely wanting to preserve my mental health definitely have to be kind to myself yeah so basically now oh, where should I start today has been emotional I have moments of feeling very mad and sad and Moments of feeling okay and then going back, back and forth. Um, today I spoke with someone on the News and Observer about my cousin, about his life, about, you know, um, his impact in the community and how he shouldn't have gotten killed. <laughs> That girl. That's gonna be awesome to feel on the inside. Wow. This is the back. Wow. I'm excited. I'm going to trim off all the extra stuff and do the rest. Motown and the star is complete. The next thing I have to do, two last things as far as the yarn goes, is the white and these streaks, which are going to be blue. I'm going to use the machine gun, the tufting gun, to do it. Let's get it. This is what the front looks like. I promise you, hopefully, it'll look better but I'll have to trim it up and you know, we'll see what it looks like. You got to trust the process, so I'm trusting the process. I think to solve that weird issue on the back where everything kind of looks clumped together, I'm gonna outline the Motown with the blue and a punch needle so it's just accurate and then see how it looks. really starting to come together. This is the back side. The lighting here is not the best. It's nighttime, but just hit the outline and I did the street. All that is left is the white for this and the, the rest of the, the red. my first rug. This is the back. I trimmed most of the loose yarn, but the front needs a lot of attention. So this is the front of my rug. 
can see it is not as detailed as we need it to be. You can't really see the Motown part. So we're gonna fix that issue. I'm going to first start off with the black. And those little white parts of the fabric, I'm going to get those out. I'm just gonna trim it up. Do the same thing for the blue, then do the words, and hopefully, like, as you can see, like, this part is pretty straight, like, the yarn is coming straight. This is what I punch needle, as you can tell, it looks like a loop. So, I can cut it up and have it sticking out like that, but we'll see. It's Sunday, August the 8th. I just finished like one and a half songs. I'm just going to water my plants real quick and work on this. I'm still waiting on my friend. We're supposed to be going to Santa Barbara just for a day, day trip. Go grab some food, go to the beach, relax. Just escape LA, get some fresh breath, some fresh air. Get out with my duck friend. Like your white coat, sir? Or ma'am? Or they? Okay. Things that I will probably do differently next time. One, when I do like one color, like when I did the black, I should have did an outline of like the inside and the outside. And then what I would have done differently that I'm gonna do next time is do the outline of the words first. I didn't do that. I didn't even think to do the outlines of the words. I was just doing the feelings. And what happened when I did the outline afterwards, the outline, was in between some of the in like the internal color so I had to kind of like push like the colors inside of the fabric and kind of make sure the outline is in the right place plus um, like I said when I finish a color to trim it up and then do the next color so I learned that from I think it's Alice makes um, she's the one that kind of put me on to tufting and like all the really cool things so I'm going to outline as much as I can the black. I got my shears in the mail today. I just got this here. I'm going to make sure that all of the yarn is in the right place. If I need to put any more yarn in it to do it now because once I glue it there's no turning back. But this is a great learning experience if I decide to do this rug again like for myself or for a potential client. I know what to do next time to make it even better. 
I found it. Yes. So the reason why I made this because one of my favorite vinyl records is this. This is actually passed down from my grandma or my great aunts. We would listen to this during like Christmas, Thanksgiving in a high school, North Carolina. And this is my favorite record to listen to. And this is basically exactly what I was intending to do. This is Motown, Diana Ross presents the Jackson 5. This is my favorite vinyl. I'm actually going to put this in a case somewhere um, in my apartment so I can actually preserve it and like put it, like hang it up. Not like the other ones I have, but actually put it in its own box and casing because this is a very special record to me. These, like I can listen to this album and I instantly, my mood will be amazingly happy and just gives me the chill. I'm getting the chills right now. Like this is crazy. This, this record here is my favorite and I dedicate this for my uh, first rug. So yeah, I'm getting to remember it <laughs> forever. I'm gonna be making other cool music related rugs because that's what I wanna do. I wanna make a keyboard. I wanna make an OP1 or SP404. A whole bunch of cool stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the reference and the inspiration behind this rug. This is amazing that I was able to create my first rug. What do you guys think? Comment below, let me know. If you could make a rug for yourself, what would that rug be? I literally wanted a new rug. And instead of buying one, I decided to make one. <laughs> and I intend to get really good at rug making and adding a new product on the quantize.com so I can create production and beat making type rugs like this but of course it would be original this is something that I wanted to do for myself I'm not selling this so I don't come at me Motown so <laughs> yeah oh man let me wow that looks amazing guys look at my vinyl my vinyl rug Final wall. I'm obsessed with vinyl. Ah! Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video. I know this is different from any and everything that I've ever done, but I wanted to do something different for my sanity because I just wanted to do something different. I don't just make music. I'm an artist, baby. I create videos, music, radio, from now rugs. I paint, I do digital art, 
graphics, animation, everything. So this is just added to my medium list. So I'm excited to see how I was able to share. I'm going to definitely like go and plug these little white fabric things out. And uh, I think I should sign the back. <laughs>